Hello and welcome back to the, uh, well, for now, well, hello and welcome to Vampire Survivors. Tonight I picked up the second expansion of the game and therefore will be able to check out the new content. Now, if the first game was, the first, the first DLC was any indication, then it's certainly going to be a bit more uh, than expected despite uh, seeming like a lot less. So, yeah, this game has always done a lot with very little, so I look forward to jumping right in. Right. It unlocked the last of the characters last time, so I can now play as whoever I feel like, really. Really reduced to area. <laughs> Who do I want to pick? I want to pick. All right, uh, more show I haven't seen his little eighty form yet. All right, and Lake Foscari is next. Uh, not in verse, that's just going to make it more rough, for, uh, and I'm not ready for that yet. And Enchanted Forest, stuffed with fey, mysteries, and mythological entities. The perfect place to have an average adventure with absolutely zero complications. Oh, wonderful. Alrighty. Let us start, then. Alright, let's take a look. Ooh, there's a lot of items here. Oh, hey, these are goblin-looking creatures. Hey, what are you? What are you? Oh, right. I can't control the bones whatsoever, so, uh... Come here. Okay, that was... I don't know what that is, but I killed it, so it's... I'm sure, King Bible protection here. Actually, 108 bulk. Actually, just 8 damage between curse and luck. I guess empty tome to reduce cooldown. Need to reach level 80 with this character, but I made a big mistake. Ooh, victory sword. Well, I probably should go with it for those clovers, so... Alright, let's go find uh, the lucky charms. Ah, we're entering a new biome. Alright, so this is definitely like the first expansion where the map is going to be complete, uh, basically an entire... It doesn't loop as much as it just, uh... Yeah, it doesn't loop, but rather it's going... It's a handcrafted area with unique areas, which also by extension means we're going to meet some unique enemies. Victory Sword. I'm not sure if I want to upgrade the Victor Sword, because if this is like the uh, first expansion area, then I probably don't want to 
get that upgrade because then it'll be a huge case of can't see shit, Captain. Might as well go all in on the bone. It doesn't upgrade or anything. I need a free level of something acceptable. Faster bones coming out, faster uh, Bibles. I don't know what those adorable worm creatures are, but clearly they are to be slaughtered. Now, do I want Torna's box? Laurel level, don't mind if I do. Spinach is probably worth getting. Are these squirrel creatures? Is the creator of this game a fan of muslids since we also got these and no ferrets? No ferret would be a muslid, I guess. I was just wondering, because we did get those wind weasels before. A tracked orb, exactly what I wanted. Which also means I'm going to want to try and get the uh, cloak here. Do I want four seasons? You know what, let's go for the four seasons, sure. Yeah, weasels, weasels, the, uh, these aren't squirrels, though, the tails aren't big enough for that. What are they? They're some sort of fey creature, I guess. Luck up. Empty tome. Not sure what's dropping, but I guess it's worth it. Tracked orb size increase. Oh no, you aren't getting away. Alright, so this is the hard edge of the map. Free Laurel, alright, that's fine.
There's a Kana thing all the way over there. Oh, right, the question mark. That means there's a... Coffin I need to open. Right, like every other stage, these always have a coffin with someone to save. Yeah, and because it's 20 levels, he's got another projectile added to everything. This is like the first expansion that I'm willing to guess the new weapons are all upgraded with the stuff in here. Guess I might have to reactivate the bracer at some point. Can I walk through there? Nope. Ah, the Force Maze. <sighs> I... I'd like it, but no, I don't think I should. Ooh, mushroom men, interesting. Oh, of course this... Of course I go straight into a dead end, why wouldn't I? Maybe I should have gotten the feather to move quickly. Oh, I see, I actually entered through the back from where I was supposed to get out. does at least mean I know the exit then. It's funny seeing the egg get caught up on the forest maze, though. Hey, buddy. Ah, here we are. I can cross the river here. And I do need to find that to... I don't mind if I don't find everything on my first go here, but I do care if I can get that item. Duplicator would probably be ideal because that's going to help the bones and the King Bible here. Mushroom men... Well, I suppose it can't be a fey area without large mushroom creatures. Attract orb because again I want that as big as humanly possible. Bible obtained. One's house. Let's see here. Fire. Jail of Crystal. Saraba of Healing. 
actually don't have that much healing. Sure, why not? Just to make healing easier, all healing easier on me. like a fairy house. Candelabra, do I believe, is required for the upgrade, right? Yep, it is. So yeah, I can get that upgrade fairly soon. I just need to upgrade the, uh, the whole thing. Here it is. Ooh, lots of the mushroom men. Not nearly enough, however. Little do these fake creatures realize that I am one of them, and therefore I know their secrets. Uh, but I do need to be careful. Uh, if you're wondering why fairy type Pokemon don't seem to resist its alpha, or they're one of the few types that don't resist itself, there is actually kind of a reason for that. Uh, fake creatures are just as vulnerable to each other's. Uh, tricks as the mortals are. So you do want to be very careful with how you go about handling such things. Perfect. Here we go. Movie unlocked. Thank you, Morticio, but the vampire is in another coffin. Okay. He's pretty cool about being rescued by a zombie. Eleanor Oziron has joined the survivors. Well, I suppose when you've been stuck in a coffin for a little while, you're not going to be too picky about who releases you. Four seasons. Ooh. Um, hope you don't mind if I grab the food on the table there. Oh, well, farmers. Well, now I'm just stealing people's crops, aren't I? Armor affects the list of weapons damage also reflects... Okay, yeah, let's go with the Divine Bloodline. Free spinach? Don't mind if I do. And a Labrador? Why not? More AoE will be helpful. Well, the good news is I've unlocked a new character. I can give him a try right away, but of course, I still need to get level 80 for this particular character. Nice that they have meat just hanging out here. For me to just take behind all these armed guards who are probably pissed off I'm stealing their food. I don't see a new weapon here. Ah, the great horned sheep of the area have come. Sure, a silvery wind should be good. I'll just get the pummel roll and make it a festive wind for my final accessory then. Ooh, 
Ooh, nightmare horses. I don't think they're Kelpies, because Kelpies are a watery, a water type of fae. And as you could probably guess, well, speak of the devil. Kelpies uh, live in the water. They look kind of like kelp. They, uh, of course, as you could expect, most creatures, most water fey, like to pull things under to see if they drown, to make them drown. Alright, I have another projectile thanks to the upgrade. Movement speed up. Get. Yeah. Sure, why not? Attract orb to max level. That's gonna make this getting the future levels so much easier for me. Free level on the silver wind. Don't mind if I do. I need to get the uh, megalo left and right now. I should get the left one first. First of all, because I might not uh, last long enough to max it out, but also because that's the beneficial one. Well, the cursed one, I'm not sure if I'll want as much. Although, the uh, right one is a little closer. And it will allow me to see stuff. Alright. Well, I don't mind exploring a bit. level 40, that of course, yeah. Then at level 60, I'll get the final uh, extra projectile upgrade. Excellent. Four seasons. Scarecrow. Now we're getting to Wizard of Oz. Now all we need is the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion. Alright, yeah, I'll get the right side one since I'm actually in this area and I want to see more unique areas to this new place. I guess this is the hard side of the map. I need to go some other direction. All base damage up looks good to me. I should probably be upgrading the damage for the actual weapons, but... Three victory sword? Sounds good to me. The victory sword is so strong, it doesn't. Just, I don't even need it to be upgraded to be powerful. Maxed out, so I no longer have to worry about it. Sure, armor it is. What are these dwarves? Am I getting attacked by exploding dwarves?
versus the bear. Four seasons. Excellent gold find increased. So rich. I want to get the Silver Wind leveled because that will make life easier in a general sense. Four Seasons is ready to upgrade now, good. There it is. The Godai Shuffle. I have no idea what these creatures are, but whatever they are, I'm going to obliterate them. Another item might require the skull. Interesting. Prospect. I'm sure I want the gold ring, but I guess I should kill this guy just to get his, uh... Golden egg. Area up. But this is not where I want to be. I want to go to the right here to get the luck up item. Ah, it was hidden. I should have grabbed the Song of Mana if I knew I was going to be getting that many upgrades, but oh well. Festive winds. That should make it a bit easier since the last couple bosses are going to get debuffed a good bit.
There's a chest here I missed somehow. I'm gonna have to start leveling this time eventually, but... Alright. I'm making some progress at the very least. My XP is all coming through. There we go, got everything. Now I just need to evolve it. Dang, that it died fast that time. And remember, I already had the curse stuff upgraded, so which means I guess the damage must be just be that good. For me, that's Clover's now max leveled, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, wow. Huh. Ah, I became one of those uh, interesting. I guess I love Lady, and now this is uh, Tisho's super mode. I'm now the Otakoros, or whatever those uh, yokai are. I'm guessing the halo above his head is so that you can tell who. Well, I thought maybe it's so that you don't mix them up with the player. Don't mix them up with the player up with enemies, but I think that's already obvious from the fact you actually have a health bar and enemies hide their health. I mean, they clearly have HP and all that, you just don't get to see it. Looks like we're about to level 25, which is going to be the final boss of the area. Will they be less frustrating than Orochi Mario? We'll see. We shall see. But first, the Mushroom Forest. Ooh, what's this thing? Do I attack it? Is the boss? Okay. Alright, it's attacking me now. Uh, yeah, it's hostile. Megalorite is almost maxed out, so I should probably save the final boss's uh, chest until I actually have it. And there it goes. Megali. Alright, it's all maxed out. So, time to grab this and upgrade it. And there we are. The Crimson Shroud. I don't think it's going to be enough to beat the Reaper at half an hour, but... It should be sufficient.
I could have just gotten the Mad Groove upgrade or whatever to instantly suck it all over to me. Everything over to me, but... This is more fun, just seeing what the level offers and what the generic enemies around here can uh, have. Witches. Ah, the Chaos Malachi gave him a free extra weapon, which I'm assuming is the upgrade of the bone. Big coin bag. guys are starting to get pretty numerous now. These guys got hands. done with the run. Oh dang, I actually I actually killed the Reaper. I didn't even have both items, I just had the uh, cloak. Nice. I guess that's just a good testament to just how powerful the super mode is, huh? That's one very successful run, I'd say. Cash in the revives. New achievement, find open the coffin, defeat the find the avatar of Gaia. Let's see here, what are the new unlocks? Uh, come here. Survive 15 minutes, get spell stream. 
Strike, um, Unite. Interesting. These are all new items. Hmm. Alright, to unlock these new characters, I need to find and evolve the new weapons. Wait, Sammy's. Ah, so that's what those slug things were. I thought they stood out a bit, but I thought it was just supposed to be some sort of cute thing. thing. And I thought, cute, kill it. <laughs> I seem to have a quick way to travel through these, do I? Sammy the Caterpillar. It's a caterpillar cake from Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors family of products. If you're age 30 plus, you order yourself to have a Sammy the Caterpillar for a birthday cake. The trademark of Vampire Survivors brand is not suitable for children ages 1 to 29. Is not edible. Are responsible for any Sammy the Caterpillar related injuries. Sam the Sand Clown. And don't fret, don't frown. It's Sam. When dusk draws near, it's him you'll hear. But no fear, should Sam appear, just smile, laugh with Mary Moon. Just smile and laugh while he tears you in half. He'll dance, he'll prance, he'll slaughter whole families given the chance. Don't frown, for the clown has come to your town. See, unlike their hillier cousins, the sea trow are neither fearsome for war, enough for war nor cute enough to become the next big toy fad. Embracing their inescapable mediocrity, they become hobbyists, spending most of their days painting figurines and beachcombing. Hiltro, once feared race of conquering warmongers until they learned how appealing their whimsical appearance was to human children. They've since erased their bloody past and convinced the world they're nothing but fictional inspiration for the line of adorable dolls. This is how you rule the world, not through war, but through merchandising. That hits a little close to home, doesn't it? Uga, Volvo. Do not be cool to think these furry fishermen are not related to the common werewolf. Have you ever seen a werewolf catch a largemouth bass? No, that one time doesn't count. That's Meg. Seems they've descended from catfish, as suggested by their local whiskers. Flattened heads, curious feeding habits, which they pose as maidens to lure gullible Atharos to their lairs. Spark. Among the very first beings to make their home in the Great Lake, uh, they understand its secrets and mysteries better than perhaps any other. It's great irony, then. The casual observers only see them as a fish out of water. It's said these hensy mammals are among the most intelligent creatures in all the realms. One skeptical of such a claim, however, as they seem nothing more clever than to mindlessly run towards our enemies in droves. When has that ever worked? Chompo. Poor little goblins who are tired of being misrepresented as sneaky, backstabbing thieves. Be warned, for if you choose to slander them, they might sneak up on you, stab you, and then swipe your purse. <laughs> Brownie, once a friendly fae, folk who lived harmoniously in human homes and merrily performed household chores, asking only kindness. This peaceful coexistence continued until landlords started counting brownies as additional occupants for rent calculation purposes, forcing poor villagers to turn them out in droves. Their brooms, once wielded in the name of domestic cleanliness, are now poised to draw blood, or at least to cause moderate bruising. The Green Knight. <laughs> The original Green Knight would challenge brave warriors to freely strike a many on his body, but vowed to return years later and turn the blow in kind. These uh, Chatterous charlatans are well versed in the legend of their progenitor, using his fabled challenge to lure enemies close before kicking them right in the plums and chopping their bewildered heads off. <laughs> its magic harp can put people to sleep in their hundreds, fiery gastrointestinal outbursts can wake people up in the thousands. Constantly compulsive nature of this gaseous goblin is explosive, explosive and rolls of safe. Provides relative safety for any who may fall foul of its lowery lullaby. Notre Dame. They're dwarves. Just regular old dwarves. What do you want exactly? Some sort of clever twist on familiar folklore? A delightful parody full of puns and unsubtle political allegories? I'm sorry, but not a damn thing to say about them other than the fact they're dwarves and they believe in free universal health care. <laughs> okay. That was a good one. Hand of glory. Pickled paws of purloining prisoners propagate perilous. Also really creepy and gross. I don't know. There's as much of a debate as to whether or not this creature or, uh, of Welsh myth predates Christianity. Clearly it does, otherwise the first historical record citing would definitely have added Jesus Christ. What is that godforsaken thing? Beautiful but malicious steed with all the strength of its two composing forms and none of the weaknesses. 
size, strength, and stamina of a horse paired with the unrivaled cruelty of a trout. Those who dare mount are swiftly dragged to the bottom of the lake, seemingly unaware they should just get off and swim away. <laughs> Average. If you wish to win favor with this witch, you must prepare for its favorite meal, hagberry and ba fish stew with a side of haggis. You can't just prevent the di she's a freely given gift, however, since they'll just insist on haggling over it. Bungoman. The Bisynthesis skill, which allows them to restore 250 HP over 5 seconds, during which its healing beam grants it 50% more health. Cloud of Spores grants 134 more damage and slows all enemies that enter its radius for seconds. While clearly born for battle, the fact Fung Man does none of these things in a fight renders it rather useless. Whenever that's supposed to be a reference to something where it actually does have those things. Ghostly Apparition. Genuine, bona fide, honest to goodness ghost. Only kidding, ghosts aren't real and never will be. I'd sooner cause the thing a vampire, and I haven't seen any of those yet either. Avatar Gaia. When the very natural order is under threat, a great coalescence of all life's benevolence manifests in the corporal lady of a being with such a grace and beauty as to bring civilizations to their knees in awe, the purest embodiment of that virtuous and true, the very heart of the planet given form. It once caved a man's head in with its hope for being in a lake. Missing church. Poisonous worms that slither from their river layers aboard boats, blasphemers, liver, divine invention. Once on a deck, they unleash a torrent of merciless using an acoustic guitar music in the name of their god. They've not managed to win the squirm mother very many converts this way, since they inevitably kill eat any prospective new worshippers. Looks like there might be another map I'm missing. Or I need to do challenge mode at some of the others. Mario, ancient legendary dragon of immense power and wisdom, with eight heads, eight tails, a love for eight old strong red wine. If you're invited for a night out by it, best decline. It'll be a nightmare to carry home. Ah, here we are. Gosh, it's a Kuro. The big skeleton. You want a big skeleton? Look no further, buddy. This here's a big skeleton. You think you've seen big skeletons already? Friend, you've seen nothing. They don't get no bigger than this skeleton here. Show someone with a bigger skeleton, we'll show you a liar. Despite the assumptions people make from the Scarlet Hide, Ren only amongst the most laid back and sociable. While they sometimes devour children, they're usually decent enough to pay the parents an appropriate price. As I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure the Oni are. The closest thing Oni kind have to a sage, these poorly monsters hold on to their. hold in their thick skulls all manner of obscure fur. Worth noting, of course, that most of this lore is related to how best to kill and eat various of the creatures. Said to be formed of the souls of those who died in haste, cursed by a monstrous form, enough arms to complete tasks at record speed. It's supposed to be a curse anyway. Most of us need to find it rather convenient, actually. The rotund trickster always seen carrying its tail over shoulder. Hang on, I'm getting a no pass to me. Oh, actually, that's not his tail. Probably best you look this up yourself. Yeah, there's a reason I mentioned that I'm not going to beat around the bush as to what that is. It's pretty famous by now. Mysterious warriors descend from the mountaintops to meddle in affairs of mortals. Friend or foe, otherwise bring their nose where it doesn't belong. Witch monster, champion of frustrated housewives, is said to descend from the mountains to curse abusive fathers, husbands, and monks. Perhaps due to higher literacy rates among such people, she's nonetheless garnered a reputation as an evil creature. Raiju. Magical creature which descends earth inside lightning bolts, hailing from another plane of existence. Where they come from, it's ex and how exactly it's a worse place to be than this particular reality remains a mystery. Kamiyachi, yeah. Diminutive creature with a colossal temper known for its cutting wit. Well, just for cutting, really. Frankly, the anecdotes are quite boring. Bulls to point out tend to get their legs cut from under them one way or another. Yeah, but... The bottom feeders of the yokai world. Every other magical creature is put off by its mossy breath, clammy skin, and lewd predilections. Okapas could once be disarmed by forcing them to bow and spill their headwater. The modern variety is far too uncouth to return any such courtesy. Yeah, boundless gifts, slight beyond reality, glimpses of the unthinkable. A yokai which solicits the residents of a small village to either cursed lanterns or traceful lucky tofu. Despite its usually playful demeanor, it despises games of catch. It has no depth perception. Interesting. Well, speaking of which, it's time to pay the price. And unlock Eleanor. Receives Slipstream level 10 and Spell Spitake. Receives Academy Badge. A cheap unlock. Alright, let me grab a sip of my drink here and I'll dive right into the next, uh, next match.
Interesting, though. Rather than gaining new stats every so often, this character gains new weapons. I don't know what any of these things do, but I guess it's worth a try. Introduction to sorcery. Sure, list weapons gain plus one amount. You know what, let's go for it. Garlic. I think I mentioned it in the description. Ooh, Song of Mana. Ooh, King Bible. Song of Mana. Uh, does the Grimoire tell me what I need to upgrade the new weapons? No, it does not. I'm gonna assume it's stuff on this map. Track door, if you please. <clears throat> sure, power roll it is just to upgrade the garlic to the soul eater. It may not be an absurdly powerful weapon, the garlic, but I do like the keep away. Plus, it can protect me from projectiles if there are any. Which I don't think there are on this particular map, but you know, it's worth paying attention to all the same. I guess I should have gotten this for the spinach, just for the raw damage increase. Speak of the devil. Three levels to anything would be appreciated. This is fine. So I probably should get the Four Seasons, just because I want the items as, anyway. Oh, interesting. level four seasons, don't mind if I do. I 
Guess I should go in another circle around the area. Candelabra for the AoE, if you please. Might as well upgrade the Four Seasons, right? Might as well grab the lucky charms. They're always after me, lucky charms. Damage for the multiply by might. Alright, so this is the only area where these uh, creatures spawn. I guess I need to kill 6,000 of them then. I suppose I'll do precisely that. Well, maybe not immediately, because while it is nice to get some good kills here, I need to unlock... I... Nice as that is, I do need to get going, so let's get going. Let's bring this guy into spawn in so that I can fight him. Iron Skull Manic.
Now one of these has to evolve my weapon here. Because those are all accessories here. I guess I can get the crown too. Interesting, some of them are just randomly doubled. Let me keep that in mind, I guess. Alright, here we are. Song of Mana. I'm sure if we level that. Now let's get all these accessories and level them all up in hopes that one of them will upgrade the weapon I want. Oh, the badge is left behind because I got level 30 there. We'll provide bonus amount revivals in exchange for growth. B gain decreases, oh my. Oh, I guess I know which item we need now, don't we? I do want to get that Arcana before anything else. I don't want to get the Pentagram, or I wouldn't even if I had room for it, but... I definitely want to get this Arcana before I go. Pickup range increased. Wicked Season, Twilight Requiem. Ooh, a new weapon is added to this list. That gives bodes well. Yeah, sure, Sarabe of Healing. I guess while I'm here, I could probably... T I've mentioned a bit about that I was doing my first tabletop of the game a bit ago. It's still ongoing. We only meet once a week, so it's uh, not going by too quickly, but probably for the best we don't go too quick. We just avoid burning out anything like that. Ooh, the Soul Eater. Good, 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 good. This is what I wanted, after all. these guys hurt. Here we are. 
three level of uh, four seasons. This is acceptable to me. Cool down is reduced while moving. Sounds good to me. Let's see here. As a quick recap, I uh, I was interested in a magic using class there, so I was recommended to take a look through. A lot of the magic could be complicated, but Sorcerer seemed like a pretty good starting class since you basically choose uh, what you a certain X amount of spells and you can use them Y number of times each level. So I get X number of spells each level and I can use them Y number of times each day. So it was pretty straightforward. I only have, despite the huge, huge spell book that I had to go through, but, but to cho actually choose my spells, I only had to really worry about the ones I actually, you know, had. So that made it a lot more accessible for me. Plus, it meant I can make some meaningful decisions each level. Uh, for Bloodline, I chose Elemental. So, ooh. Huh. That's odd. He didn't leave... He didn't leave behind a golden egg? Is this another character who can't have gold, pick up golden eggs? Here. Cola. Okay. I know there's a lot of uh, people like to play around with stuff like wild magic sorcery, but I figured I should keep things simple. Apparently the GM still wanted to have fun though, because I was we got an artifact weapon surprisingly early on, but it's basically, I might have mentioned it before, but it's basically the Wabajack from the Elder Scrolls series, in that I activate it and it only has a chance of working properly, but in the general sense it's more likely to um, make things go wrong. Like, I was trying to use it to try and help us track someone, but I ended up getting a cone of uh, knowledge, a cone of the truth around me. Which, granted, did end up helping, because we were able to get information we needed in order to uh, keep our investigation going. So even if it wasn't exactly what we were going for, it was still helpful. Then I tried to use it again later, and it gave... I was rather worried with the GM, okay, said, okay, you rolled this, now select a target. Uh, luckily, a party member said, okay, for, if something like that happens, choose a bird or something. It, um... It immediately contracted sudden onset leprosy. I didn't plan to be a wild magic sorcerer, but I get the sense this is probably what it's like to play one. <laughs> oh, well. First things first, I need to go down here and grab the, uh... I absolutely need to go in here and get the XP boosters. Because this item that remove, reduces my XP needs to be counteracted, and I'm willing to bet that's what it upgrades with. It. Wait, I'm going... I'm going completely the wrong way. Guess I was too caught up in my story. Oh well. I mean, I play gotchas. Obviously, I'm not afraid to gamble here and there. But I have noticed my character is absolutely the kind of character that's, uh... either going to be extremely good at something or extremely disappointing at it. Because usually... Yeah, I just pretty much dedicate everything to just uh, this, the element of choice, in this case, cold. It's nice, because as I mentioned, I do get to make meaningful choices each level when I choose what spells to add to my list. But it's not, uh, oh crap, I've missed one chest. But I can't, it's not uh, so chaotic that I can't, uh, ah, I forgot about that. No complaints. Yes, the bloodline I chose was elemental, so I get some free spells every so often. So basically, even the worst case scenario that I make stupid decisions, and it doesn't, the spells I choose don't work out, the ones from the bloodline are automatically there. They seem pretty good, so 
That's nice. I, I have a fallback to make sure that I can't screw it up too badly while still having meaningful choices. Granted, I do apparently have the ability to swap spells around if it becomes that big a problem, but... Nice. Spinach. Darn it, I need to go back to the forest maze. The hedge maze. That was pretty neat so far. Oh, this is just a shortcut. Wish I had noticed that before. Would have been really helpful a minute ago. Whatever. Even with the damage I'm taking, I'm healing it faster than I'm taking it, so I'm pretty feeling pretty confident in the general sense. Spinach all damage up. Godai Shuffle. Excellent. Uh, reduce XP gain hurts. Adds a revival. Here it is, the forest maze, which means the XP booster is going to be in here. Slipstream. So it seems to be a bit random which one gets multiple copies and which don't. These items all appear, they just seem to have the exact amount just seems to vary a little. At least this gives reason to be messing around here. Plus, uh right, here we are. I'm pretty sure I just compensated the uh, XP group. Whatever, I'm just gonna upgrade everything and hope this eventually gets me what I need. Gains improved. Now to ruin them with my new weapon, with the ba Academy Badge. I assume it's the Magic Academy that this character went to? Oh, what's this upgrade? Union of Spellstring, Spellstream, and Spellstrike. Goes stronger after every singularity. What does it mean by singularity? And what was that sound? Adds a revival, but XP gain decreased. Guess I can head on over and start slaughtering those creatures on those uh, bread cr cake creatures on mass. Wow. Might as well get this since it's a beneficial one.
summon knight? No. Might as well max out a clover while I'm here anyway. The skull of maddening. Silver wind, that's what I was holding out for. Find the axe will be acceptable. Find the max on the skull. Uh, let me get one last level on the silver wind and grab that chest so that I can just immediately. Uh... There we are. Works for me. It gives a screen every so often. Thinking about it, I probably should have gotten the gun the bayonetta guns because on this character since the badge gives revives and that scales get stronger the more revives I have in storage. Death Spiral. Good. I guess, uh, you don't upgrade the badge, then. A shame, I thought I was actually being quite cheeky there. Let's do this. All 
Ah, okay, yeah, now they're actually getting added as I complete them rather than being there automatically. Alright, not a problem. stick around here so I can get more of those cake creatures because 6,000 is a lot to kill. An eyeball appeared on that rock, didn't it? Interesting. I can walk right over it, so it's not an obstacle like some of the other rocks. Maybe I just saw something, maybe I was seeing something that wasn't actually there. I hadn't wasted that level up on a ch floor chicken, but I guess I am the ch who ch I guess I was the one who chose the chicken over uh, money option, just to be safe. I have two minutes left in the run. Gotta be careful. Gotta keep moving though for the soul eater to reset. It's healing.
Huh, funny that minute 29 is easier than minute 28. Or maybe that's intentional to feel like a slight breather. Don't get me wrong, these undead things are genuinely pretty tough. They don't feel nearly as overwhelming as the forest axemen. I was going to jokingly refer to them as Vorse Raiders, but I'm not sure how you would get... Well, I guess it's a Yu -Gi anyone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh! would probably have some idea of... The Survive 15 minutes with Eleanor. Good, good. Spell stream. Spell strike. There we are. And Maruto has been unlocked. So now we need to... Keep that weapon there and evolve. Right. Gains a temporary armor bonus after getting damage received as an academy badge level 30. Ah, I'm starting to see a note. I'm starting to see a uniting theme with all these characters, and they basically all amount to they've gone to this magic academy. Interesting. For the moment, let me grab a sip of my drink and I'll go in. Maybe I'll try a new map with uh, Mardo here. I'm not 100% sure on what evolves his weapon, but again, I'm going to go based off the idea that um, it's one of the ones from the new map, because the last one had all of the ones needed, so it should be a good clue, a good starting point, so I'm not going flying completely blinded. All right, one moment while I grab a drink here. Oh, pray thirst tonight. Alright, he gains a lot more badges, so he's going to get more revivals. Not to mention plus one to all projectiles, but hmm. Let's try one from the Not the Expansion just for a change of pace, then. Basic Mad Forest should be good, I guess. Just for some fun. Ah. Interesting. Duplicator, fine. Tempting, but if I go for the spell stream, I have to go all in on it. But I suppose it wouldn't be too bad. is going to be important. I need to evolve the Excalibur to get the next character and also unlock it. Well, I think first I unlock the uh, weapon itself. 
for others to use. but I really want that. Or Excalibur. Escazabur. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a totally not Excalibur here. Although the character himself looks more like a totally not Guts character. Given, kind of looks like the Dragon Slayer from Berserk. Oh! That's new! I guess this is, they've decided to make this guy with... What's the closest we can get to a melee character in this particular game? Because this def this guy definitely feels as close to that as you can get. because I definitely need the experience I'm going to be getting the badge at level 30. If all these characters are getting the badge, then I'm going to have to really learn to love the XP boosting items. Has a unique animation for it and everything. Gotta love it. Damage up. Getting pretty good damage now. Need the XP. Need it. Spinach will definitely be worth my time to get, just because I'm already doing good damage here, so pushing a damage should be better.
Alright, I think if Excalibur is maxed out now, so... I get the Silver Wind, but if I do, I absolutely have to focus on everything else. Increasing speed gains maxed out. Still have a while before level 30, so it's a, a good bit before I'll be uh, losing my stuff. In. Three level of spell stream sounds good to me. This guy's pretty satisfying to use, even if it's just basically the animation, the sound. Well, I guess in general, it's always good when weapons feel impactful. Tractor. I'm not a fan of these bats because they take an age to die. I mean, obviously, yeah, I can kill them. It's just a pain in the ass compared to the experience, especially for the amount of experience. Because they do have a shot of gear. They do have a shot of some green experience. Crystals, which are worth a lot more, but I don't know, it just never felt worth it, in my opinion. Obviously, my opinion is probably pretty bunk since I only just, you know, installed. <laughs> Install the expansion, I mean. I mean, you can check my chin. <laughs> Proof this isn't the first time I've played this game, but. In the general sense, I guess it's just good when a weapon feels good. I guess it's. And what, how good a weapon feels to use one of those things, it's kind of hard to explain unless it's done wrong. Just a mix of the impact, the. It's not just a matter of, well, is it really strong or anything. I've played a lot of games where you can just fire, where there's a sci-fi laser gun that absolutely obliterates everything in its path, but it doesn't feel all that explosive, it just feels like a beam. Sure, why not? <laughs> 
Smelt string. Oh yeah, my badge is here. I need to pick that up sooner rather than later. Amount and revivals in exchange for growth. A painful but definitely worthwhile thing. His name is the song name is the Dragon Slayer. Maybe this is a reference, a little bit of a reference to Berserk. I certainly wouldn't mind at the very least. The spell string instead is definitely not bad, especially since once you fuse them, it becomes one to save you two more weapon slots, but. It can be a bit of a commitment, that's for sure. Probably should have gotten the bloody tear. Maybe later. Roll up. I need to go through this area for the Pomerola anyway, so I might as well grab the Pomerola while I'm here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I guess I maxed out Pomerola so I can't get that anymore. have, so I should just head on over to this cursed skull. Banish the gut. Hurrah, 
garage robe. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. The impact, the sound, the screen is slightly shaking. All that contributes, it feels, I, I had to guess. Pretty sure that's what's gonna upgrade the Excalibur if the if I can't do it yet, so Not gonna be able to get too much money this run, but that's fine. This isn't a money run. This is to try out the character and hopefully find a way to s upgrade the Excalibur. guys really hit hard. Yep, still no upgrade, so yeah, I need the... looks like the skull is required to upgrade Excalibur here. Alright, those green ones are what I needed most. On green XP, green XP, green XP. that skull. I hope to get the Excalibur upgrade and over I'm running out of time. Alright, I'm mostly in the right spot. I just need to keep going here. Here it is. Honestly in the most fitting place it could be. Here we go. Mirage robe. Okay, now that can get upgraded. And once I do, that will make life a lot easier because the clones can now draw aggro away from me, which is going to be huge because a big reason this early map feels felt so rough early on is simply because I had so much focusing on me. Thank you. 
unfortunately, I might not live long enough to see that. Now, those bat swarms are inherently no issue. The issue is they're pushing dangerous stuff right into my face. Although, in this case, they did allow me an escape. is slowing, but I now have more revives, so I have more room for error. I wish the swarm of skeletons had come, because while those are more numerous, they're individually weaker, and therefore easier for me to handle. wasn't the item I wanted upgraded, but it's an upgrade, so I'll take it. Sure, gain more additional revivals, and if I keep dying, I'll just get stronger and stronger until I can't lose. I'm not missing any chests or anything. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to level the skull more. Better for worse, I need one Excalibur upgrade, because whatever it is, well, if the regular one's this good, I can only imagine how good the upgrade's gonna be. Perfectly acceptable. Now my, I basically have JoJo stands that will distract. I'm not finding the last item to upgrade into the spells items into one. It's now maxed out, so if this is the item that maxes Excalibur, it'll become evident very soon. Ooh, a silver bat? Okay, good. Ooh! Really? No upgrade. No upgrades. Oh, I know what that means. Yeah. That means that the item it upgrades with is the bracer, the item I've sealed. Oops, I skipped by accident. I did not mean to do that. Oh no, I chose the wrong item. Damn it, I chose the wrong item. I just might have just screwed myself out of the entire run. I'm tempted to banish it just to stop making it show up, but that's not going to solve anything. I mean, I'm frustrated, but a level one... I, I should have used it to get the last item I was missing. Now I've completely screwed over what I was doing. It's unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it now.
So taking out my frustrations on the Four Seasons won't help me any. Especially since it's not like the Four Seasons are a bad weapon. I mean, I've already got plenty of close range weapons. The Four Seasons will help me by taking out stuff that's a bit further away. But yeah, unfortunately, I might have screwed over this entire run. I don't think I'm going to win at this rate now, because it's going to get way, way too dicey near the 30-minute mark, and I simply don't have enough attacks to clear it. I mean, I've already gotten been constantly attacked here. The Excalibur without its upgrade is simply not going to be enough. Well, there's the last boss of the area. Fortunately, I can't even upgrade the Four Seasons because I'm missing the Candelabra. Oh, this is awful. Well, I guess that's something. Always big coin bag. I probably should have just gone for floor chicken and tried to survive, but I don't think... I don't know if that's going to be worth it, if we're completely honest. Just going to have to see if I can make through with this weird build I've got going. A build which is completely making no sense whatsoever. At least the boss died almost instantly, but that's because this is the pre-DLC boss. They don't really have any mechanics or anything, they're just particularly tough. Meanwhile, the um, Avatar of Gaia and the Orochi Mario are both actually have some mechanics I have to pay attention to. Whether it be the multi-heads or the uh, healing thing. At least the good news is this means I can avoid cursed items. I don't think it's the curse is making too big of a deal right now, though, if we're honest. Come on, three minutes. As nice as enemies draw, as nice as my clones draw aggro away from me, I just realized if I'm completely surrounded, that might not help too much since they typically explode on impact. Still, they can make a nice. Still, they're coming out pretty commonly, so they are giving me some breathing room. Twenty minutes. We'll see if I can make it. I don't mind playing as this character again, they were fun. But I'll have to remember to unseal the Bracer before I go in, because if I pick up the Bracer, it's not going to work. It's going to be stuck at level 1 and not allowed to level further because, well, it's sealed. It's not supposed to be showing up anymore.
Oh, there's a chest over here I missed. How long's that been there? Longer than it needed to, I can tell you that much. Almost to 30. We might actually make it if I can do this. Yeah, but look at how many bats are swarming me. It's gonna be close. Really close. Spell Storm. Well, that's what I wanted. sword. Oh yeah, that's helping out quite a bit. Just look at that. I was I was thinking as the is that really really that strong? Should I really keep it and not seal it when I'm not playing as the character that uses, I mean. Oh but no. Yeah, look how much breathing room it's already giving me. It's only here for the last few seconds, but cleaning house, that's for sure. Cash in the revives, sure. New achievement, survive 15 minutes. Alright, collection. We must unseal the bracer. Probably afford to seal the bouquet, though, because in this particular instance, I'm not sure how helpful it's going to be. Of course, I can't seal the... Oh, no, that's for a special condition. I can't, however, seal the Gatamari here. I guess if I wanted to go with the sword, it might be worth having just because the Vicious Hunger can help, but no. Not right now, anyways, I don't think. Do I want the Shadow Pinion? It's a lot more work, but I'm not against it. It's just not a top priority. Then again, if I'm... I don't know. Just don't know, I guess. Regardless, I know what I need to do here. The Gallo Tower starts me off there, so let's go. Archery, eh? Amount. Silver Wind. Okay, that's an ideal one to get early on. Spell Strike. Racer. Well, Duplicator first. Caliber. <laughs> Two more projectiles, nice. Ah, uh, yeah, Excalibur, and uh, so yeah, I need to discover these again. Probably for the best. While I didn't mind it just revealing them right away, I can see why it's. Most probably prefer the experimentation here. Plus, it's not like it takes too long. I mean, there's only so many accessories in the game that could possibly buff it.
Spell Strike. I probably should have sealed the uh, clover, but judging by that other map, I'm willing to wager one of our new weapons benefits from it. Slipstream. string. Okay, there we go. We have all three needed to evolve it, so we don't need to worry about that. I can now purely choose items that I actually... that I might want to build, for whatever reason. Summon Knight. I'm a little under halfway to level 30 where I can get even more amount, so I can almost imagine how crazy the uh, Summon Knight's going to be now that I can get an extra two fangs with it. Tract Orb is always worth it, I think. Free wind. Don't mind if I do. The Grimoire says only one item to upgrade, right? Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's the Bracer. It can't be much else. Or if it is, it's not something that, uh... That's on the map, but I have a feeling that's not the case. They're usually pretty good at hinting out what exactly you need to do. Upgrade each weapon. And even if you don't... If it doesn't, it's not too hard to trial and error through. I mean, there's only so many of these items, you know? Wings for more mobility. Bracer, please. I'm trying with just about every accessory in the game, since there's only one it can be with. It can't be with the rings or metal glios. Metal glios. Sure, armor, why not? Maybe they want me to go the full knight build with Excalibur and armor. is fine for the last one because that upgrades an item I already have. Plus, there's one accessory I can get on the way down by going the other way around, opposite way once I get it. level, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna roll it up, because I want to upgrade the weapon as soon as possible.
Alright, I'm almost to where... I also can go just go south from here, but I figure a free extra level wouldn't hurt. Don't mind if I do. I don't need any of the ones up there. And I don't need to worry about eggs on this character quite yet, so... Time to head south and get another accessory. Oh yeah, I'm not even level 30 yet, so I don't have to worry about the uh, experience loss yet. Interesting that just spawns that item in, but I guess it makes sense. They want me to be able to get it even after I, even if I've already got the limit. Huh. Although now that I think about it, this basically means the Eleanor basically is guaranteed their evo weapon evolution since they automatically get all the components for it at fixed levels. So unless you ignore it completely, which I guess to be fair you could until you uh, fill up the other slots so that you can go past the usual limit. But yeah, you can guarantee yourself the upgrade. You can even pick it up early, right away. If you feel you're struggling, you can just pick them up right away to, and try and focus them down so that you can immediately get the levels going. That's definitely an interesting way to take a character, although... Hmm. Law, cleave, cleave. Spell string. String. level, don't mind if I do. There's two more projectiles. That's gonna snowball, I think. Best get the bracer leveled up, because if that truly is the item that upgrades the Excalibur, then I'll need to have that maxed out as well, I think. I have noticed the expansion stuff requires higher level in the accessory, which does make sense. The early stuff I did basically would ignore the accessory as long as possible, simply because I noticed that it only really required the weapon to be upgraded. Hit level 30 so I get that item next. All 
I will give it a minute so I can try and get another item up in case the last next one doesn't work. armor, huh? So it still wasn't leveled. That's mildly infuriating, but whatever. I just need to level the pummel roll a bit. Let's do it. Bad Grove. Alright, the spells are about to ready to fuse. They're just a few levels off. Huh? Armor up. Not bad. Almost there. Thank you. 
Only one of the spell weapons is not at the right level. Come on. Unfortunately, this is the flaw with items that require three items to upgrade. Although, granted, it doesn't require nearly as many levels as the Laurel or La Clockwork Lens set. Those are just, just insane. And there we are. And here we are. Spell Storm. There's Garo, who owns the Garo Tower. I believe defeating him here is when you, how you unlock him normally, but since I already did that, well... So it could be the Spellbinder that the weapon evolves from instead of the... These mages like to keep away since they're, you know, ranged fighters, but I'm not going to let them. If I really want, I can grab a lancet, I suppose. dead there. Good. the axe.
pretty sure I can upgrade at least one item now. Yes. Festive wins. Okay, that really helps him. Free wing. Well, whatever. It and the spellbinder are the main things I'm testing now to see if uh, they upgrade the sword. And the armor, of course. Princess. And the critical hits are enabled. I should probably go with the healing, look for the healing one. Just to keep my health up. Although I suppose the gold, disco of gold does also help since it makes all gold heal me, but that's usually good when stacking because that means you can do ridiculous amounts and damage to nearby enemies. At least that's from my experience. There's probably better ways. It's still pretty fun to stack them, since I can get rich and also get healed at the same time. Money, 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 money. armor level. I guess that's fine. I'll get all my accessories to level 5 here and see if that works.
Come on. That's a nice level. I have to move it now, so... <clears throat> ah! Legionnaire generates additional projectiles skill deal retaliatory damage. So it's the armor. Okay, so it's the full knight setup. Good to know. Alright, the Summon Knight should be able to be upgraded now, so let's grab that and do that now. Excellent. Echo Knight. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh nice. I see, so it gets clones of me on top of this. That's neat. to keep an eye out for the Clockwork Land set, however. Metaglio. Yeah, I knew it can't be a meta one of the Metaglios or whatever, because those are a bit specified. <laughs> or rather, those are... Usually pretty specific. I can't imagine one would use one half but not the other. Same with the rings. I can't imagine one would use a one ring and not the other. They're very clearly intended to be a set, hence why they're always on opposite ends of the map. Because if one upgrade only required one, you'd only have to worry about going there. Clockwork Lancet. And with that, we now officially have everything we need to become unstoppable. <clears throat> now granted, I actually have to level everything, so that's going to take some time. But that's why I leveled the cursed items for. Actually, I probably should have gotten the cursed items first because I really need to get make sure I get the levels. We only have a bit left in the run, and, and I won't be able to beat the Reaper at this rate. Although, I suppose what matters is...
Now yeah, these golems get really tough near the end. I think I should save the chest for a bit just so I can try and get one and at least Uh, I didn't want that one. I guess that's nice to have a revival. I guess all that matters is reaching 30 minutes. I don't have to defeat the Reaper for what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm not gonna make it, so might as well just grab these while I can. Extra level, not a problem. Alright, we might make it. All I care about is winning, so let's uh, make that happen then. Additional projectile for everything. Including my clones, apparently. Alright, we're about to win. Excalibur. Ooh, Kaitha. We've unlocked an archer. Well, we got the saber. We got na Makes sense the archer would be next. Unlock. But we're going to be trying them next time because I am tired and I don't want to push too much when I have to get up early. So, that'll be all for tonight. Till next time, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you later.